Hey guys, it's Poison. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a first impressions gameplay for the new game Terror Online, a new pay to play fantasy MMORPG published by Enmass. And it's been 5 to 10 minutes showing you guys around, so let's get straight into it. Now, I already have an existing character, but for this video, I'm going to show you guys around the newbie place. There's one thing about the uh, races in this game that not every other game has. For the races, uh, every race has a different trait. So, for example, the 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 elves, every two hours, I believe, they can replenish their mana fully. For Castanex, when they attack from behind, they have higher damage and critical rate. So, anyways. The cl the races are human, Castanic, Aman, which is kind of like the they're kind of like dinosaur people. It's pretty cool. Epopori, which is like your animal people. Uh, your Ellen, which is kind of like the lolly girl type. The Baraka, which is like your stone warrior kind of guys. And the high elves. Like, what fantasy game doesn't have high elves, guys? Come on. So, I will be a high elf. And now let's get into some classes. First, you have the warrior, which can either be played as an evasive tank or a sustained DPS. And they use dual wield weapons. A lancer, which is a pure tank class. They use a lance and a shield with heavy armor. The slayer and the berserker. Now the Slayer, they are both uh, burst DPS and they both use melee, but the Slayer is more agile which gives them a more dynamic kind of play, while the Berserker uses charge attacks to do massive damage, but they're slower than the Slayers. You have the Sorcerer which is your ranged uh, burst DPS, they use magic. Your ranged sustain DPS is your archers. And then you have a Priest and a Mystic. Now for priests, they are the primary healers. All they do is heal, heal, heal. They'll be the ones that are keeping your parties alive, and they'll be the ones that <clears throat> are making sure the tanks don't go down in boss fights. Now the mystics, they can heal too, but they're more centered around their buffs and auras, and they also have more offensive abilities than the priest, which allows them to be able to do a nice amount of damage while keeping everyone buffed. So I'm going to play a warrior just for this video. So now we're into customization. This game has a, has a great amount of customization, kind of like Perfect World. First they give you some presets, you just get to see how everything looks. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. For your features, your features is just your hair. I'm not going to get too much into customization just for this video to keep it nice and short. But uh, for your face, you know, you just choose a face. There's lots of customization in this game, many different faces, and now for your adornments. Adornments are just tattoos, makeup, and like just stuff like that on your face. But what I really want to show you guys is for this one. Some adornments give you some faces give you different adornments. Like see how you have this earring thing on this one and the lines. For this face, you can't have the earring. And you don't have the lines either, so there's tons of customization. You can further go into customization with the bone structure, eyes, nose, mouth, and ears, but I'm not going to get into that. You have a preview uh, outfit, but sadly enough, when you get into the game, it just disappears. This is just to let, kind of let you know, hey, your guy can look badass in some red clothes and stuff. And for this game, they actually let you choose your voice or your character, which many games don't. I find that pretty unique. But let's get into this game. So I'm going to name my guy Rinkekai. That's not taken, so let's get in. Now there's going to be a cutscene. I'm just going to let that play out just so you guys get a general... Um, general understanding of the game story. This game is very story based. There's lots of story quests. So I hope you guys enjoy. There it is! The 
Island of Dawn. Now we'll see some action. Patience, recruit. Whatever's on that island wiped out the first expedition. It's a graveyard for the arrogant. Ha! A graveyard for anyone who dares to cross swords with me, maybe. Who's with me? Count me in. On the day I heard about a mysterious island rising out of the sea, I dreamed I'd see it for myself. Then you need more ambitious dreams, my friend. Mysterious island equals ancient treasures, equals the perfect place for me. By the Titans, that island is huge. Enough chatter, recruits. Get down there and report for duty for the Federation. So yeah, this was pretty much the game story kind of cutscene to get you into your adventure. You just pretty much land on this island and just start from there. But one thing I like to put out right from the start is the beautiful graphics Terra has. This game has one of the best graphics I've ever seen for a PC game. <clears throat> and it's well developed too. So good job in mass. Now one thing I like to point out about this game is it's a action MMO. Remember this fond So you have this crosshair here as you can see. And what that does is that is where your guy attacks and will use skills. In this game you don't point and click and just sit there and let your guy auto attack and just fight by himself and click a skill here and there. You actually have to be active. Is this worth my you have time? to evade enemy attacks Something and important. aim your own. So I've, that has a whole different level, different level of playstyle for this game, and I really find it interesting. I find it really nice compared to other games that are out there. So one thing about this game, your character stats, you do not get stat points when you level up. You just kind of, they grow naturally. So you don't have to worry about being like, oh my god, where do I put my stat points? The no, it just does it all by itself. How you actually do customize your stat points though is your equipment. See, as you can see here on my equipment, it adds 8 MP and my swords add 3 MP. So pretty much for your equipment, what you do is you augment them and stuff, add stats that you want and build your character that way. I find that pretty neat. <clears throat> and also for right here as you can see, these are kind of like your gem slots. As you can see, you get crystal sockets per per items and you'll just find uh, crystals by completing quests and um, killing monsters. So that's always good. And they add stuff like more critical damage. Um, some of them can even activate skills that your character won't even have power. while you're fighting, which I think is a really Bells unique. But let's try and get into some combat here. Just accepting some quests, trying Feel to get into this. Alrighty, let's get into this. See, so I'll show you guys what I mean by skill shots and stuff for the combat. Let's go kill some trees over here. left click is to attack and your right click gives you this invasive roll which is used to just get out of harm's way when they're attacking you but yeah this this tree guy didn't even stand a chance like he just stood there and took my abuse but there are there as you saw that just popped up there are also achievements in the game yet i have yet to find out where you go to find them but yeah, there are achievements, so that's just another little perk to this game to keep you interested. So let's kill a few more of these trees. As you can see, my experience increases pretty fast at low levels, which is actually nice, because you don't want to be staying at the low levels forever. I'll just get boring. So they, they do level you up pretty fast in this game. And one thing I have to note is that you will never be wondering where, what to do in this game because there's always just so much quests like uh, my other character is a level 9 slayer 
and there's just so much quest that I'm still doing like level 8 and 7 quests on it just because I have so many quests to do. You're never, you'll never get lost in a quest either because there is um, like little marker things that you click here and on your mini map down here it'll actually show you where the person is. So no more being, oh where is that monster? And as you can see I leveled up fairly quickly, it only took about two kill uh three kills actually. So that's that's nice. I just gotta find one more of these tree things. So you can get more equipment. And then I'll show you guys the some skills. You know, I just have to go buy them. Oh and that brings me to my next topic. For skills in this game, it's kinda like World of Warcraft. Every even level you can go to your skill trainer and acquire new skills so you don't have to worry about skill points because there are none or skill trees all you have to do is just buy them so make sure you have cash every even level and you're good to go with your skills I've yet to see talents but when the game fully releases there could possibly be Feel talents, the but I don't know. It's in closed beta right now. Uh, it's set to release on March 1st. So we'll see you then. Alright, now let's go. Let's go get some skills. I'm going to some skills for you guys. Uh. So, one thing that I really like about this game is the vast environment. There is just so so much. This game is huge. Like you bring up the map. This is just the beginning area. It's fairly big for what it is. Um, it trains you up to around level 10, and then you go to the mainlands. So it's pretty nice. And the gra as I said before, the graphics are just amazing. Like look at that. But yeah, let's get some skills and I'll demonstrate some of those for you guys. The warriors, the warrior skills are based off of combos. You watch my back You'll see this I'll when I start you. using them. But pretty much what I mean is when you use a when you use a skill, a thing will come up above your person, telling you to hit start, you space the space bar, and that will. Activate like the next science, skill in a combo. Combat has its geniuses. And the more skills you have, the more combos you can do. This is just for you be warriors strong? though. Then practice more. Because they're more combo based. But Slayer and other classes also have combos, but I believe that they are not as combo based as the warrior, which is why they are ranked the highest uh, difficulty to play. So let's go. Let's use some skills on this guy. So like I said, the space power evasive roll pops up. This guy doesn't even stand a chance, like he's just standing there. Crying in shame over his death, that's what happened. So, take that Mr. Tree Man. And there's also there's the items in this game. Some of them are usable in combat, like bombs and stuff. I believe I just picked up one. I'll show you. Uh, I really like the way they did the. Uh, uh, where is it? All right, I don't have a bomb. I thought I did. I really like the way they um they did the combat in this game. It's nice and fluid. It does not. It, it, you you basically can't get hit if you're good enough with your character. Like, cause you can just evade your monster, the monster's attacks, and just dish out a ton of damage. So that's good. As you see, I didn't even get hit once from that monster. It's like a level ahead of me. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But yeah. So, my opinion on this game is very fluent in combat, it's very well developed, 
There's a lot of, there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, since it's closed beta, not everything has been released, so I can't tell you about everything in this game, but as I said it releases March 1st. So uh, when I get this game and it's fully released, I'll be doing another first impressions video. And it's all done. So yeah, so this is my first commentary, so please make sure to leave comments and constructive criticism in the uh, comment box below because I'm trying to actually become a, a regular commentator so anything that you guys can tell me to improve on is greatly appreciated and I guess that's about it for now and I'll be posting a link in the description bar uh, for you guys to go check out any information that you're worried that you're wondering about like um, the r race traits and stuff so without further ado it's poison and I'll see you guys later have fun mm.